So in this video, we're going to talk about uh, the duplicate process. And in earlier videos, you've probably seen uh, from me they, the, the use of the Command D on the Mac or Control D on Windows or Chrome, Chromebook, um, to duplicate an object. So for example, you could also use this, by the way, just this little duplicate button up here. So if you click on duplicate, what happens is you get a second version of the same object that you've selected and it sits right on top of the other one so you, you can't really tell that it's there but if you use your mouse or if you even just use an arrow key you can move it out and you realize you've got a second one well that's great um, but there there's actually more power to the duplicate feature than just creating a second copy so for example if I took a an object and I hit command D on the Mac and I moved it out to a distance of, let's say, I don't know, something like that. When I hit Command D again on the keyboard, it creates another copy or another duplicate at the same distance away. Okay, so I can quickly, for example, make columns on a building or uh, make key keyboard keys on a keyboard, for example. Uh, just many, many different ideas can come out of uh, and the need for uh, duplicate and repeat. So uh, the other thing that you can do, it's not just moving it out. So again, I can hit Command D. And if I moved it out and I moved it up and I hit Command D, it keeps going out and up at the same time. So now suddenly I could make stairs or I could make um, you know, anything that requires a pattern that it elevates but doesn't change. It keeps going up and out. Lastly, there's another option that you can do, and I'll, I'll take this one here, and I'm going to spread this out, and I'm going to flatten it a little bit. So I can take an object like this, let's just say, and I can hit Command-D. I can bring up another version of it, another duplicate, and I can shrink this one if I want to. And I'm going to hold the Option key down as I shrink so that I can shrink toward the center. Okay, and I'm actually, I'm, I'm doing a couple things. I'm holding Option and Shift so that I can shrink it towards the center and keep my proportions. Uh, basically, what I've done is I've made a new copy with a smaller uh, diameter, and I've left it in the center. And now when I hit Command-D, it makes it again, but it makes it that much smaller and that much taller because I had raised it off of the original surface. And so as I continue to click, um, hit Command-D there, you can see that it forms. And there are actually a couple of other cool techniques that we can use with this uh, duplicate and repeat feature. So, for example, if I were to take an object like uh, this roof, if I were to Command-D duplicate it, I'm going to move it out a little bit and move it up, let's just say, a little bit. I could actually use the mirror feature. So the mirror feature allows us to... Um, create a reflection of an object in any of the three axis, axis directions. And so I'm going to choose this one. And now when I do Command-D, it's going to give me the original and the reflected version. So just like that, I've created an entirely new shape. All right. And then one last one I'm going to show you. Uh, we've used this to create uh, doorways or hole shapes. So I'm going to show you how we can use this in a circular pattern. Um, let's just say, for example, I'm using this as a as a as a whole shape at some point. And I want to not only just make this one, but I want to make an array of it. I want to make a, a circular pattern of it. I can duplicate. I can move a second shape out this way, like this. And then I can select them both and group them. And what that does, by grouping them and now duplicating using Command-D, I can bring out, through rotation, another copy. And if I do that again, and again, now I've got this circular pattern of holes waiting to happen. And so I might take another object. I can, let's say, I'll group all of these. And now they're just one piece ready, waiting to go. And then I can take something like this, 
this tube here. Let's make it something like this. Let's see how that looks. Maybe a little bit bigger. Like that. That looks good. And I make it a little taller. And maybe I will, to make sure that they're lined up, I'll use my alignment button and make sure that they are lined up by both centers. And then let's see what this, let's see what this does. Okay. So just like that, we can use duplicate and repeat to also give ourselves the circular pattern. Okay, and we thought we were done and not quite. So there actually is one more thing that I can show you about duplicate and repeat that can give even more versatility to the designs that you make. So um, one need there was in a class um, to make a kind of a, a cone shape, but like with a larger circle, um, it's to replicate the, the towers in the Taj Mahal. And so what you can do, this is just one example of one way we found to do this, and that is to take something like this heart shape, put it on its, uh, its end like this. I'll just make it bigger so we can kind of see it. And what you can do is you can duplicate it and then move the duplication uh, let's just say, let's say 10 degrees, like that. And then you just keep hitting Command-D or Control-D, depending on your computer. And you get this really kind of cool shape like this. Um, and if you wanted to expand the tower a little bit, you could even take a cone, something like this, maybe make it a little bigger. And then I'm going to bring it up, something like that, and I'm going to align them by their centers. You get something like that. So the duplicate and repeat can do quite a few different things for you depending on the features that you want it to represent. So this is absolutely the end of this video.